This video is sponsored by Print. Hello, creative friends. Kara Plichinich here. And today we're going to take a quick peek at parent pages in InDesign. What are they and why would you use them? How do you create them? So parent pages are like templates that you can apply to any page in your document. So for example, if I have this multi-page document here and I want all the pages to have a footer and maybe a little header, and I want them all to really just live in one place. So if I need to make changes, I don't have to edit every page of my document. I put them on the parent page. So to do that, I'm going to click to select both of those things and I'm gonna cut them from this page and I'm gonna go put it on the parent page. So in the pages panel down here, we have the actual pages of our document and up at the top is where the parent pages live. And I say pages because yes, you can actually have more than one, but by default, we have an A parent and we have this none option here, which I'll explain in a moment. So to get to the parent page, I'm going to double click the A parent thumbnail. And now you can see we're no longer looking at the pages of our document. So I can't scroll down and see all these pages here. I'm sort of in parent page land and all I can see right now is the parent page. So I'm gonna paste those items by choosing edit, paste in place. And now they're gonna show up here on the parent page. Now, if you've ever wondered what this little A means on all your page thumbnails, that means that the A parent template, if you will, has been applied to all the pages in your document. So to get back to the document and see what this looks like now, I can double click any one of these pages and we see, oh, hey, here's that header and footer. Let's take a scroll down to the next page. Oh, here's that header again and another footer down here. Wonderful. Isn't that cool? So it's all the way through. Now you'll notice I can't grab it here because these elements don't exist directly on the page. They live on the parent page. So if I decide I wanna change the color of this box, for example, I need to go back to the parent to edit it. So I can double click and I could select this and let's just say we wanna fill this with this color. And if I go back to any of these pages, instantly we see that that change has been applied. Isn't that cool? All right, so let me undo that. That's great if you want this on all the pages, but maybe you have some pages where you want something different. Like here, I don't want this header to show up on this page. On page three and page five, I don't want this. So what can I do? Well, if I don't want any parent page applied to those pages, that's what this none option is here for. So I can click and drag this thumbnail and drop it on the thumbnail of the page, and that will remove the little A icon. And now we can see that the A parent template, if you will, is no longer applied to this page. Same thing here. If I want to remove the A parent from this page, I'll just drag the none thumbnail and drop it right on page three and boom, that's gone. So that is one way to do this. But what if we had something entirely different we wanted to do on this page? Maybe there are some pages where I want to have a blue background, for example. So I'm gonna cut this blue background and let's make a new parent page. So I'm gonna come to the pages panel menu and choose new parent. And by default, InDesign will give it the name of prefix B. We can also choose to base it on the existing A parent, which means it would have all of the objects from the A parent as well. So basically it would be another template that basically has a template applied to it, but let's just keep it simple. So we'll say none. And I'm gonna click okay. And now I'm gonna paste this here and then let's maybe reduce the opacity. So like this, right? So this is now the B parent. So this is not applied to anything yet. Let's jump back to page three. And now maybe I want to apply the B parent to page three. I can just click and drag that little thumbnail and boom, that's page three. 
If I want to apply it to this page as well, I'll do that. So we've got three pages in our document with the B parent applied and four pages that have the A parent applied. Basically, that's all there is to it. So just remember that the parent pages live in the top of the pages panel. There's always an option for none. And to make any changes to the content on those pages, you just double click the thumbnail and to return to your actual document, double click any one of the document pages. I hope you found this helpful. Until next time, I'm Kara Plichinich and this is Creative Pro. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.